everybody to Canon Unbox. So today I have an interesting product. I got Hive's home automation set. So I have reviewed some of Hive's products before. Let me just close it up so I can make up, do the whole unboxing properly here. I have reviewed the products before. I've reviewed uh, a thermostat and the hub that's required for it. And uh, it was a nice product. It works quite well. Um, it needed a live C wire, which was one thing that everyone needs to make sure they had before they purchased it, but otherwise they loved it. This is their, I want to get started on home automation and I have zero items starting kit. So basically this kit includes your thermostat, it includes two light bulbs, it includes uh, a door sensor, um, a, power, a power outlet, um, and the hub thermostat. I think I'm missing something in there. Oh, and a wire and a motion sensor as well. So it all comes nice easy. It's called the Welcome Home Pack. So the Hive Welcome Home Pack. Um, they do sell this. They sell each item individually. It is cheaper in the pack. Uh, they also sell um, a pack of just a thermostat, and they also sell a pack with just the um, home automation without the thermostat. So the hub, the light bulbs, those items. And I believe Amazon has it well listed in terms of what's in each pack and what you can purchase. So this uh, video is simply about the pack, the setup, basic stuff like that. Um, if you have any questions to ask in the Amazon app, uh, question area, we'll get back to you really quickly on those. So as for, as for last time in the last review, it does look like a pretty good box um, and they've made it look really nice. The only downside is, is in shipping, you got the cardboard burn on here, so I can ignore that. I don't blame high for those mistakes. Um, recently made, Hive's new logo. They changed their logo in the last year and make it a little more honeycomby, a little more circular. Um, lid comes off. Do you want me to just angle this down so we can get a little better look here? There we go, much better. Okay, so, whoop. That box comes off. This lid opens. You got a little envelope style thing in here. And inside you got all the items. Pretty simple, um, well packed. I appreciate how I've putting the energy into putting it all in one box and not um, kind of creating a well, Amazon box full of each item individually. Uh, it's actually packaged by Hive as a group and you'll get it like that. So inside of there, I'll just show you what we got. We have the Hive Active Thermostat. Now, when I got this, I thought the box looks different than the thermostat that I got originally, just the hub and thermostat. Same item, I opened it up uh, and looked inside. And uh, the exact same manufacturing code, the dates are a little bit different, um, and that's why the box looks different. This is uh, uh, like three or four months difference in terms of that. So the actual thermostat looks like that. It uh, has the center knob here that lets you adjust temperature. You have cold, hot. It does need a live C wire, so again, make sure you have a live C wire. I'll put in my comments or in my full review um, how to make sure you have a live C wire. If you don't have a live C wire, this will not work. Don't buy this pack. Buy the other pack that does not include the thermostat. If you already have a, ther a smart thermostat, you can decide if you need the thermostat or not. If you do, get this. If not, switch to the other pack. Um, it connects in the back, and this can plug right onto the mount that you install works super well. Um, it's pretty smart. I mean, any smart thermostat can do the same things. Um, you control on your phone. Um, it connects into the hub. It does not work with Amazon's hub. You do need Hive's hub. And yeah, straightforward. It does come with the brackets and the mounts and everything you need there. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Again, any questions, answer, ask above. Put the back aside here. Oh, also when you do install it, make sure you turn off the power um, to the thermostat, which is, if you have a C-wire, is the power to the furnace. Otherwise you might get a nasty shock. Um, they say it's a 24 volt, um, so they say it doesn't have enough power to kill you, but in my limited electricity knowledge, I know it's not the volts that kill you, but the amps, it's the same power that goes to your doorbell, um, voltage-wise, so take that with caution. 
I would say turn it off. I do have friends who have claimed they've never worried about that. Um, but err on the side of caution, it's step one breaker quickly. This is the hub. Um, super easy to install. Power in the back. Internet cable, yes, you need to plug the internet cable in. And uh, right into your, to your Motomer router. Router, sorry, Motomer goes from router to router. Um, right into the router, and then it'll connect to the network. Um, do make sure that uh, your network, like the wireless network you've set up is not a like if it's private, make sure it's not, uh, you have sharing enabled. So make sure if you have like a dual band, you don't have, um, you don't, you're not setting up a devices on a private so that, that doesn't have sharing, network sharing available. This seems like a little, this didn't used to be an option on them, but as wireless routers got more powerful, um, there's what's called a guest network. A guest network lets you connect to the internet, but not connect to other devices, um, and you wouldn't be able to connect to this. So make sure when you set up your wireless devices, you're not on the guest network. If this seems like a lot, whoever installed the, uh, the router, if it's a spouse or a child, get them to help out. Uh, anyways, plugs in, super easy. Um, put in the central spot of your house. The hub has to be able to connect, uh, again, into the network. And all the items have to be able to connect to the network, so make sure you have good wireless range around your house. Um, a good way to do that would be to take your phone and kind of just go over the areas where you'd have those devices. If you do see low strength, maybe look at getting um, a wireless booster. Um, just you're not disappointed when the items do come. Next thing we got in here is we got two light bulbs. Um, I've left one sealed for now. Um, the light bulb is super straightforward. And it does, uh, right there. This does work supposedly, and just the light bulb, so if you're buying the package, it won't help you. If you just want the light bulb, you can buy the light bulb by itself. This does supposedly work with Alexa, um, Amazon Alexa, Alexa the Plus One, the big tower that has the hub installed. Only the light bulbs. If you have the Philips Hue light bulbs and that's all you have, you can integrate that Hue app with the Hive um, and you can bridge them, which allows you to use those lights on here. That also means you can use the Philips bulbs on the Hive network. Do look online to make sure you're purchasing the right style, but it is a cool thing. That means you're not limited to hive, hive bulbs. Um, as you set up a network, you wanna make sure you're not enabled. The bulbs simply go in, make sure you turn the power off first, screw it in, you turn the power on, it will flash once, telling it it's looking for a network. Um, and then once it's connected, you're set up. Go on your app, do that setup. The bulbs that come with it are um, temperature bulbs, they're not multicolored bulbs, which means you can change the temperature of the light. So from uh, warm to cold, you cannot change the color from say white or yellow to purple, for example. You just have that, uh, you just have the heat or the temperature of the light option only. Let me get that back in here. There we go. Next we have the door sensor. Um, all of these, and again, I, I do like this fact, the Hive makes it very clear on every single box you purchase if the hub is required or not. It says on every single box, Hive hub required, um, which again, I really like. So if you do purchase follow-up items, you know. I'm gonna just get this open here. This one's quite interesting, quite small actually. So it's very simple. There's two stickers in the back of each one. So you do have a second chance if you need to move it or you're relocating it. But basically, this piece goes onto your door. This piece goes onto the rail around or the frame around your door. There's a magnetic, a really powerful side or a powerful side and a non-powerful side. Powerful side. The more powerful one, put it together. So that's not as powerful as that one. So you want it like that. Door, frame, together, doors closed, door opens, whoosh, lets you know. Okay, it's pretty simple, you stick it on. Batteries are included. Um, the battery type, just so you know, is, a, well, it doesn't matter what type it is, but this is a Duracell in here, and it's an R, a CR17345. So it is proprietary, there's so gonna be a good life on that, but do be aware that you will have to purchase a replacement battery eventually. Snap just like that, super easy. And again, you can purchase these, uh, additional ones of these. 
uh, you, they are available on Amazon, so you just purchase however many you need. Again, this kit has one door or window sensor. They work for both. In my place here, um, and before I do my full review, I'll set it up. Um, my plan is to have one in the main entranceway where the door is, as well as the common area. Um, just because to get into the place, you have to have, go through that area. That's going to cover the majority of the windows and the door as well. Um, so I'll have um, the wireless sensor, sorry, I misphrased that. I'll have the, the motion sensor in that area, so it covers the door. And all of this on a window um, that is not visible by the motion sensor, so I kind of cover both. This is the motion sensor I told you about, so this will go in that common area where the front door is, so I can tell. And I'll use the, the actual one on the other one. Very similar style, pops right out. They, uh, recommend, we, they recommend you install it 6 to 10 feet above the ground. Uh, any higher and you could be missing on items. It will detect movement of pets, so if you have a pet, higher, right, would remove pets that are in the low area. You can just put it on a shelf sideways, that's fine. Um, I would definitely play around with this before you install it. It claims it can, has a range of 16 feet. So take a look at where your doorways are, your pathways, the front door, your entranceways, and make sure that you're putting it within 16 feet of those common areas, right? This is not going to be of use if you have it in the back corner of your living room and that the sensor is too far from the main aisle of the house. Make sure it's in a spot that will pick up any traffic. Again, stickers. And the nice part of it is, is the back of this um, is meant in a way that can go right in the corner of a wall. So quite easy to install again. And uh, again, two packs of stickers, so you can take it off really easily and replace it. Again, just two packs, so you got two chances. And last but not least, we got the plug. To be frank, this was the one thing I was a little disappointed with. I've had a wire, I've had a smart home plug before, and I'll show you what I had before. I had a TP-Link um, wireless plug. It's worked well. Um, there's a button on it that turn, you turn on it, the switch on and off uh, without having to use your phone if you're close by. Super nice. Um, I had it before. I had a third programmable coffee maker. I had it in a coffee maker, and now I have it on a light, um, uh, just a regular light bulb that turns on and off. Do times and all that stuff. The downside to it was quite large, meaning if you plug this in the wall, you're covering the jack below it, uh, unless you have an old like two prong style plug. I was hoping that the newer ones didn't have that issue or were smaller. They're a little bit smaller, but not a lot. They're sort of thinner, but that's about all. They are the plug is a bit lower on them which means you can actually plug something into the wall you're not going to get a big device in there you're going to get a regular a regular plug so if you have a mac at home or a laptop your laptop plug will be able to go into the plug underneath if you have a standard outlet um, anything that's larger like a transformer plug um, like something you would use to plug in your like a remote, remote hard drive or external hard drive or you know the big black ones right that are thick it will not fit in there. There's not enough room. So just be aware of that. Um, otherwise, I do like it. You do the button to turn it on and off just the same. Um, it does connect in well. But just a side note on that, it is uh, large size wise and you can only put one in per plug. So overall, the package is quite nice. Um, it gives you everything you need to really start. If I were someone who is starting in this myself, I think it'd be a good option if you have nothing. If you have a thermostat already um, and you're happy with it, maybe looking at the other packs um, might be a better option because you're, there's no point paying for the, the thermostat you're not going to use. If you already have some Philips light bulbs, this pack is perfect. You can still use Philips light bulb on there. Do do some research to make sure they're compatible, but um, they do offer uh, compatibility with the bridge. If you're someone who doesn't need a thermostat but has nothing, again, I would direct you to the other pack that does not have the thermostat installed. And if you only want the thermostat, get the thermostat pack. Um, if you're only here because you want a wireless sensor and a plug, just buy them individually. You can buy the, the hub individually, you can buy them all individually. You save a bit of money by buying it as a pack, but if you're not going to use it, there's no point. Um, yeah. Other than that, I mean, I'm quite impressed with how it works. 
Um, Hives is a European company um, and they're working to enter the market in, in uh, North America. So you might see these, uh, you might see these uh, more products come to market um, as they get a foothold in North America, but they're well designed. Um, the third side is quite attractive and the size of the wireless monitor and motion detector is very, very small. The only other thing they make that's not included in this pack is they do offer a Wi-Fi camera. Um, I don't know why they didn't include it in a pack. I'm guessing the price point makes those packs a little bit too high because um, they have a basic camera that I believe goes for about 129, 130. And then they have a premium one that's a metal and it goes, I believe, for about $100 more than that. So about 220, 230 in that range. Both integrate perfectly with this and you can have live video feed. Um, they also detect, detect motion. Um, so again, you don't have to put that in a common area where traffic would go through if uh, someone's coming home or entering the house or location, wherever you have it. Um, so do take a look at that if you are looking to set up and do a complete, a complete setup. Um, the app is easy to install. It works on uh, Apple or Android. Uh, it's in the Play Store, it's in the Amazon Store, and it's also in uh, the Apple Store, the App Store, of course. You can also log in the computer and do it on there as well. You do, you are required to have um, the Hive account, uh, like any other product, um, but it all, it all comes together quite easily and quite well. Do you read the text for a full, a full review of everything after it's installed and some common tips? Um, and do read about how to double check to make sure you have a C-wire uh, that is live. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. This is Canon Unbox, and uh, thanks again. <laughs>